Hey everyone, Morgan here. So people asked for an answer key for the icebox problems. So I thought I'd just walk you through uh, my written answer key really quickly here. Number one, you might have noticed, was the same question that was in the lecture outline. Okay, write the reaction, write the K. It's a very small K, that's important to know. Set up the icebox. Fill it in, 0 0.10, 0, and 0, minus x, plus x, and plus x are the changes. And at equilibrium, you add those together. You have 0 0.10 minus x, x, and x. It's a 1 to 1 ratio for a to b. That's why it's just x. Plug those numbers into a keq. Now, since k is such a small number, I can do an approximation here. 10 to the negative 4th, 10 to the negative 5th, 10 to the negative 6th, that's all small. Anything smaller than that, you'll be fine for an approximation. 10 to the negative 30 probably wouldn't be, okay? So I'm going to try to avoid those. Now, I approximate away the minus x, so I have x squared over 0.1 is approximately equal to 3.0 times 10 to the negative 6th. Then that's really straightforward for solving. x is equal to 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 4th. So since we're looking for the concentration of B, let X equal the concentration of B, which is 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. If you need to pause this for a second, go ahead. I'll count to five. Okay, so now let's look at the second question here. Okay, almost identical setup. It's a much, much smaller K. So the approximation is still going to be valid. Our initial concentration is 1.00 this time. Plug into the K, do an approximation. And when I solve it, x is equal to 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 7th. So the concentration of S2 minus is 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. OK, pause if you need to. OK, cool. So now let's move along, look at questions three, four, and five. Okay, so here is number three. Again, almost an identical setup. I tried to do that for these first five questions. Still a small k. This time initial concentration is 0.25 molar. I did an approximation. Let x equal the h plus, which is 3.4 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. Pause if you need to. I'll count to five. All right. Moving to number four. Okay. Number four has actually the same reaction as number three. The only thing we changed was the initial concentration. So this time, x is 2.1 times 10 to the negative fourth, and the h plus is 2.1 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. All right, pause if you need to. Okay, and now finally, number five, take a look at it. It's the same reaction actually as number two. We just changed the initial concentration to be 0 0.10 molar. So this time, x is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th. And the S2 minus concentration is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. OK, I'm not actually going to do number 6 through 10, because I want you to be able to work on those for some extra credit points. All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.